Okay, so today I have something that many of you have been waiting for. And of course, I'm talking about the all new Galaxy Tab A7 here. I was finally able to get my hands on this baby right here. We're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing, first impressions, and let's go ahead and start off right now. Yeah, many of you may already be familiar with this tablet here because it is, of course, the successor to last year's Tab A, the Galaxy Tab A 10.1, I believe that was called, or the 2019 Galaxy Tab A, which has been pretty much my favorite undergo tablet for entertainment. Now, the new one here is packing newer features, and it is an all-out new take on the budget tablet segment in the industry. And of course, the video that's gonna follow this one is gonna be the full comprehensive review of the Tab A7 here. Then I'm gonna have subsequent videos of the Tab A7 versus the Tab A from last year, or the S6 Lite, or even the S7, or the iPad, and so forth. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Oh, by the way, if this is your first time to the channel, Welcome, of course, or if you have watched videos here, but you haven't subscribed yet Please do me a huge favor and hit both the like and the subscribe button there Tremendous help to the channel and I truly appreciate your support here. Of course, that's a major salute for you Now let's go ahead and jump into this unboxing here So I went for this gold color as you can already see illustrated on this box here now Samsung does offer additional colors such as the silver which is a little bit like the good old tab a 10.1 inch that I already have in silver. They also do offer the dark gray here. Now the unboxing itself is gonna be pretty straightforward as always. I've done enough of these to know what to typically expect out of this box, which of course is gonna be this tablet at the top here, as you can see, still in the wrapper here. Now fast forward after taking it out of this pocket here, my first take on this tablet is that even though it is a budget tablet, it just doesn't feel as cheap as many other budget tablets out there. Now the rest of the stuff coming out the box here will be the manual as always, along with this micro SD card tray ejector. And this is actually interesting because in the past, these two things, meaning the manual and the SIM ejector here have always been together in an actual independent box, but it looks like we don't have that separate box here. Okay, the next thing here is the wall adapter right here, along with the USB Type-C cable, as you would expect. So going back to the tablet here, as you know already, we are looking at a newer design, and as I mentioned earlier, Samsung does do what it can in order to give it some air of premium, some kind of premium appearance, right? It's, ne it's not necessarily premium tablet, but it just has that appearance, even though it's a budget tablet. So what you see here is an almost all metal body. I would say about 90 to 95% metal, but that's just a guess. That's just a random guess here, because as you can see, the plastic is only at the top here. So a little bit like it was the case with the Tab A, from last year. First impression of the front here, you can tell it's different from what we had on the Tab A 10.1, because if you pay attention to this front part here, you will notice that it looks awfully familiar to the front of the Galaxy Tab S6 or the Tab S7, or even the Tab S6 Lite, because it does have this very uniform bezel here all around the front of the tablet. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at the physical features as we are accustomed to doing here. Starting on the left side of the tablet, we will find two speakers as you see here, and that will be pretty much everything on the side. At the top, we find the power button and the volume rocker right next to each other as always. And further to the right, we have the mic there. On the right side, we have two speakers for a grand total now of four speakers on this tablet. And I can tell you now that this is making me smile because this is a huge improvement as far as audio hardware goes. If you remember the previous one, the Tab A from last year only had two speakers. And not only that, they were right next to each other on one side of the tablet. Then of course you have the USB Type-C port in the middle here. And you have to keep in mind that this is a USB 2.0. Finally at the bottom, we have the micro SD card slot, which will allow you to expand that internal storage at up to one terabyte and that kind of has become the standard for many of these devices nowadays. Then you have the front camera here, which is a five megapixel one, and the main camera on the back there, which is an eight megapixel camera. Although it seems like Samsung has it backward on their website, unless of course they flipped it this year and made the selfie camera 
a better one by making it an eight megapixel and the main camera of five megapixel. But anyways, I'm pretty confident that it's five megapixel for the selfie and eight megapixel for the back there. Now jumping on some quick specs here, this particular unit has 32 gigs of internal storage with three gigs of RAM. Now the US market does have the option for 64 gigs if you prefer to pick that up. Now either way, whether you pick up the 64 to 32 gigs of internal storage, you do have the ability, as I mentioned earlier, to expand that storage from either 32 or 64 to one terabyte, which is always a fantastic thing, right? Of course, the chipset here this time is different. We are looking at a Snapdragon 662 chipset and it is sitting on Android 10 and you have one UI running here. That'll be 2.5. It is loaded with 7,040 milliamp hour and the battery is also fast charging capable. The screen here, as you can see, is slightly larger. So you're looking at the 10.4 inch and it is an IPS display. You get that resolution of 1200 by 2000 here. So it's a pretty nice screen. Now, those specs may sound a little familiar if you've watched my Tab S6 Lite video, and that's simply because they are slightly similar, except the Tab S6 Lite has a TFT. Now, this would be a good contender against the Tab S6 Lite. Who knows, but either way, I do have the tablet and I'm gonna make a head-to-head -head video between the two. Now, I did watch a few videos on here just as a test and the picture quality actually looks pretty good. You can watch Netflix and even other streaming that allow you to do so in full HD. I've also played a couple of games on here, starting with Call of Duty here and Asphalt 9, since those are the main two games that I always like to test with a new device and they actually played pretty nicely. This of course was just kind of a quick first impression and unboxing of this tablet here. Maybe you get to have your own first impressions. I will be making a full comprehensive review of this tablet within the next week or two. I still have the Tab S7 review that I need to push out, but I'm gonna to try to prioritize this one since so many people have been wanting a full review of this tablet. Now, if you enjoyed this video, of course, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna catch you in the comment section like I always do, of course, and I'm also gonna catch you in the next video. Up until then, stay safe out there.